I'll come to the Quran. The Quran says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, in every age have you sent a revelation. Every age, Almighty God has sent a revelation. And he has sent messengers, Allah says in Surah Fatih, chapter 35, verse number 24, wa min ummatin nazir. There has never been a people without a warner having lived among them in the past. All these books that you mentioned about Rig Vedas and the Atharva Vedas and the Upanishads and the Puranas, etc. If you had attended my talk last year, I gave a talk on similarities between Hinduism and Islam. And just a few days earlier, last Sunday, I gave a talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Hindu scripture. And there I proved that in your Hindu scriptures, it is mentioned that the Antim Rishi will come. A final Rishi in the Kalki Purana. He's mentioned chapter number 2, verse number 4, 5, verse number 7, 9, 11, and 15. It is also mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana, Khand 2, Khand 2, Adhyay number 2, Shloka number 18 to 20. And in several verses about the Kalki Purana to come, it speaks about the Antim Rishi, about Narashansa, and I've given the full talk, I don't intend repeating it again. If you read these scriptures, it says that there is a final Rishi to come. And they say that the name of the final Rishi, the father's name will be Vishnu Yash, that is same as Abdullah, the servant of God. His mother's name will be Sumati, which means peace, same as the mother's name of the last and final Muslim, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Amina. And the whole lecture can go on. Coming to the point that in all the Hindu scriptures, in most of the Hindu scriptures, the coming of the Antim Rishi is mentioned. Same thing in the Bible. I've even given a talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible. I don't intend giving here. I'll just give you one quotation from the same gospel you mentioned. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. It says, I have many 